with Halloween upon us, we look toward the spooky and scary for our entertainment. With a ton of horror movies on the market, it's infamous for its scary little vision, but the icons will forever, in our minds, be the best part of the horror film genre. So, in honor of Halloween, here is my top 8, that's right, only 8 today, movie serial killers. Alright, so let's get started with number 8, The Grudge. Now, I'm gonna cheat a bit here, and if you know me, I'm gonna cheat a lot more on this list. The Grudge came out on October 22nd, 2004. But if you're Japanese, the movie in fact came out on January 1st, 2003. Now, the story in both versions are very different, so I'm gonna sum it up shortly a bunch- Okay, so, sorry. A bunch of people move into a house in Tokyo, which is the site of a bunch of supernatural occurrences. Long story short, the entities did not take kind to these people and death ensues. All caught up? Really? Okay, excellent. Now, what lands them on the list is the way they, quote, kill, and their presence in the movie. When I first watched, I was terrified. These things are supremely creepy and freak everyone out. Have you ever heard how they sound? Just listen. Did you hear that? That's menacing. Now, for the killing part. Nobody truly knows how the grudge actually kills their victims, or if they don't kill them, then what do they do with them? But what is the creepiest thing of all is the house actually exists. You see that? Now that is a horror. <laughs> Alright, number seven, Chucky. Chucky first slashed his way onto screens in Child's Play back in November 9th, 1988. Chucky was a criminal who put his life force into a child's doll using black magic. Now, I don't truly understand why Chucky is scary. I thought that there was a huge plot hole where people could have, oh, I don't know, maybe football punch his ass over a building, but I digress. This killer doll haunts kids to which of their toys are gonna come to life. If that doesn't haunt people, I don't know then. Going to number 6, Leatherface. Now back in 1924, on October 1st, the very first iteration of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre was released to the public. The movie depicted a chainsaw wielding psycho that wears the face of other people. Can you say identity theft? Leatherface, besides his creepy need to wear others' faces, he hangs his victims with hooks and cuts them in half with a chainsaw. Hey, that's fucking horrifying. Number five, Michael Myers. Let's see, stalker, check. Murderer, check. We got a recipe for a cycle here. Michael Myers first came into homes in the movie Halloween on October 25th, 1978. Believe me, at first I was skeptical at Myers, and then he started breaking walls and people. To cover his face, he stole a generic Halloween mask to wear. I don't believe we ever saw his face, or ever will. But the thing is, sure iconic. Going with number 4, Samara the Ring. So, how attached are you to your TV? Really close? Well then, I don't think you want to watch the tape, because if you do, she will find you in 7 days and murder you. Now this movie came out on to screen on October 18th, 2002, and Samara, as I believe, is an entity that was murdered as a young girl and her body was dumped down the well. Now, don't go getting sympathetic on me. This girl was mental. She uses the tape to get to her victims. Now try watching the tape. It's up fully online right now. I just wouldn't go near your TV for several days. That's a warning to you guys. Number three, Freddy Krueger. When you think movie horror killers, 
one of the first monsters to come to mind is indeed Mr. Kruger. Coming on two films on November 9th, 1984, Freddy easily showed us what a killer can do with smarts. Killing people in not only horrific, but also funny ways. Sometimes using his iconic clog to slash and murder his way to the almost top of the killing food chain. Now you go go to sleep and try to battle Freddy Krueger. It's not going to end well for you. I promise that. Now, on to number two, Jason Voorhees. Oh, come on, guys. We all knew he was going to be on the list somewhere. I knew he doesn't rank very high, but he's higher than Freddy Krueger. Come on, we had a minute. The concept of Jason came onto the screen in 1980. The reason I say concept is because Jason even... He didn't even get the spotlight until his second movie. Which is actually fucking stupid. Jason is one scary motherfucker, and he backs that up with not only unbelievable strength, but surprising quickness, especially when he just walks around everywhere. We don't get it. Also, know that he truly can't be killed by any normal means. If you want to have any chance to beat this monster, you have to kick his ass back in the Crystal Lake. And take it from this poor soul, it is no easy task. So good luck, because I am definitely not helping you. And on to the fable number one, the Exorcist Demon. We all know why I chose this. For one, again, I'm cheating my list a little bit here. And for two, it's one of the scariest fucking movies ever. Not only is the demon so real and made you terrified to go to bed, but the entire cast was actually cursed working on the damn thing. The creepiest thing about the demon is that it might actually fucking exist based on a real paranormal occurrence that happened. So yeah, this shit is bed shitting central. So good luck with that. And that's our list for today. Thank you guys so much for watching uh, my creepy tale. And I hope everyone has a safe and scary Halloween. Feel night. <laughs> Peace.